All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. It is March and the bass are biting everywhere in the country. So today we're doing my top five baits for the month of March. You know, March is probably one of my favorite months to fish. They just bite. They just love, like winter's just about over. Everything's starting to warm up. The days are getting longer. The fish are getting ready to spawn depending on what part of the country you're in. So they're happy, they're excited, and they're hungry. So they're eating everything in sight and March can be a great time to catch some fish, so. My top five baits for March, you know, the fish are gonna be moving a little bit more shallow than previous months. So to start, we're gonna go with a square bill crankbait. And depending on your water clarity, the part of the country, whatever, you're either gonna go with a shad pattern or a craw pattern. You know, if it's muddy water, I really like the craw pattern. If it's a little bit clear, we'll go with the shad pattern. But this is the, the new Bill Lewis ATV square bill. I like the 1.5 size. You know, it's a good, perfect size for that, you know, square bill cranking. You know, I don't like too big a bait. Um, just, just personal preference. I don't like a big, big square bill crankbait. I like that medium size, that 1.5 size. So this right here gets the job done. And let's see, we'll pull him out and give you guys a little bit closer view. So you can hear it's got a very subtle rattle, not a whole lot of rattle in there. It's basically a silent bait, but that, that BB in there does rattle just a little bit. So it makes a little bit of a knocking sound. Um, really deflects over cover and wood well. I mean, you can worm this bait through any type of cover and it's not gonna get hung up. It was designed very well. Excellent little crankbait right here. So first up for the month of March is gonna be a square bill crankbait. Like I said, I really like this 1.5 from the ATV 1.5 from Bill Lewis. All right, next up, you gotta go with a jig. This is my favorite little jig right here from Epic Baits. This is the finesse jig. This is the 9 16th size and a beautiful blue craw color right here. So the finesse jig comes pre-cut with the strands shorter on the top and longer on the bottom. But what I like to do is, is cut these longer ones right about at the hook. So we're gonna take it like this. Let's try not to make a mess here. Okay, so I like to cut them a little bit shorter, just like that, and it makes a much more smaller profile jig right there. And then as far as a trailer, really hard to beat, just the old school twin tail grub. So this is the Yamamoto double tail grub right there, green pumpkin. Got a nice wire keeper on the Epic Baits finesse jig. So we're just gonna slide this trailer up here and this jig right here is going to catch bass all over the country in the month of March. Doesn't matter, large mouth, small mouth, spotted bass, doesn't matter. They're going to eat this jig right here. That is a nice little snack for them right there. They absolutely love that jig. The month of March, this stays on my deck everywhere I go right here. So second choice, little finesse jig, the Epic Baits finesse jig, 9 16 ounce with the double tail grub as a trailer right there. You gotta have it in the month of March. All right, going along with the jig, the finesse jig is also gonna be a shaky head. So shaky head fishing is one of my favorite ways to catch them. I really love catching them on a spinning rod. You guys know that. So with that, you gotta throw a shaky head in the fall or in the spring. I'm sorry, what am I thinking in the fall? In the month of March, the shaky head just straight up catches them. Pre-spawn, these fish are staging, generally on points, rocky points, stuff like that, and a shaky head comes through that cover so well. I don't even know what brand shaky head this is. It's just a little shaky head, but I really like um, this worm. This is the Yamamoto Pro Senko. Not a lot of people know about this bait right here, but it is a, a thinner style worm, but it comes to a pointed tail at the end. 
So that right there on a shaky head is just dancing around and it just looks delicious to the bass right there. That worm straight up gets bit and that shaky head right there will catch bass all over the country in the month of March. So shaky head must have for March. All right, next up, you know those fish come to the bank and they start feeding up heavily. They're getting close to spawning. You gotta feed them what they want. Feed them a big swim bait. The six inch mag draft. That is one of the best baits to catch a big fish in the month of March. You know, they eat it everywhere. Anywhere the water is, is you know, probably a foot of visibility or cleaner. You can throw this mag draft right here, throw it around cover, throw it around docks, just throw it in open water, doesn't matter. They're gonna come up and eat the mag draft in the month of March. So make sure you got a mag draft on deck in the month of March. All right, last but not least, this one should be obvious. You know, when the fish come to the bank, they start moving shallow. The old wacky rig Cinco is probably the, the best bait in the history of bass fishing for catching fish when they come to the bank. So I generally, if you know, if the water's fairly clear, I'm starting with the watermelon red color right here. The hook is very important. So I like a Trocar TK137. This is the weedless version. So it's got two little um, weed guards on there. It just helps keep the hook from getting hung up in brush or trees or whatever you may do. Um, and then I like to rig up my wacky Cinco. You know, you could hook it this way, you could hook it this way, you can hook it so many different ways, but I like to take the, the fatter end, have it to the left side, and hook my Cinco just like this. Start in the egg sack and then finish just outside, just like that. So that's how I like to rig up the direction I like to rig up my wacky worms, just like that. Um, you throw this Cinco around, skip it to the bank, skip it to brush, skip it to wood. You're gonna catch fish on it in the month of March. You can't beat a wacky Cinco, really all year, but M March and April are probably the best times to be throwing this bait right here. So if you guys need any of this tackle, check the description down below. There's direct links over to Fish USA. You can get all this tackle, get it to you shipped real fast. And uh, they got everything you can need bass fishing on fishusa.com. So do me a favor, check them out. But I appreciate you guys watching. Leave me any likes and comments down below. It's, pr it's time that everyone's gonna be fishing here soon. So I wanna hear those fishing stories. Drop them down in the comments below. Uh, appreciate you guys watching and uh, we'll see you guys next time.